This is your WISS Daily News Roundup for Oshkosh Air Support, 98.3 FM and 1100 AM. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Today is partisan primary election day, the first election day since new boundaries for Wisconsin Senate and Assembly districts went into effect. Wisconsin Elections Commission Administrator Megan Wolf who's on their ballot, what districts they're qualified to vote in, depends on their address. And so when the redistricting happened, voters who are now in a new district, their registration was moved by their clerk into that appropriate district. Polls are open till 8 tonight. That's when election night coverage begins on many civic media radio stations and online. The last of four hotel security guards linked to the death of Devante Mitchell in Milwaukee has made his initial court appearance. Herbert Williamson and three others restrained Mitchell on June 30th. Mitchell died of asphyxiation. Staffing levels at Wisconsin's youth prisons is on the agenda as Governor Evers' Juvenile Justice Commission meets today. Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake schools are under more scrutiny since a teenager attacked and killed a counselor in June. The U.S. Department of Agriculture is paying more than $2 billion to minority farmers, ranchers, and foresters. It's to make up for discriminatory practices of the past, like denying government loans. But some advocates say they want more transparency. I'm not personally dazzled about numbers or dollar amounts unless I can connect that to the people that are being most impacted. Sharon Mallory is with the 2020 Farmers Co-op. Attendance at this year's Wisconsin State Fair set a record. The State Fair Board says 1.1 million people came through the gates in West Dallas. That's about 6,500 more people than last year. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now, here's what you need to know closer to home. For WISS News, I'm Lisa Hale. The management company approved by a judge to manage the day-to-day operations of the Oshkosh Arena said they plan on setting up shows at the beleaguered venue as early as this fall. Venue Works is nearing an agreement with the Wisconsin Herd as well to stay at the arena. The builders of the venue have filed a foreclosure agreement with Fox Valley Pro Basketball over $12 million they say they are owed. Four people were arrested on drug charges following the search of residences on Wright Street, Scott Avenue, and Dove Street in Oshkosh yesterday. The charges ranged from felony possession and distribution charges to parole violations and outstanding warrants. The investigation continues. Authorities in Green Lake County are searching for a missing kayaker. Dodge County officials were contacted early Monday about a 44-year-old man who had not returned from Green Lake. Deputies checking the area did find an overturned, unoccupied kayak with a life jacket attached on the west side of Big Green Lake. The search was suspended around 8 o'clock last night and resumed this morning. When a person with disabilities wants to work, Curative Connections in Green Bay says, let's work. Sean Franken, Director of Employment and Trainer Coordinator, says Curative Connection works to help adults with disabilities work. Age range 18 to, I think we have early 50s right now. Um, So it kind of runs the gamut. We have people that have suffered traumatic brain injuries. We have autistic members, Down syndrome. So if you're willing to work, We'll certainly have you. In addition to work problems, Curative Connections has programs for people with memory loss, dementia, and brain injuries. A 22-year-old Kakana man is charged with homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle, hit and run involving death, and operating on a revoked license causing death for a crash Sunday morning that killed a young woman in Kakana. Zachary Burr is being held on a $250,000 cash bond. Gas prices fell almost 15 cents last week. The average across the state is $3.40 per gallon today. Demand is dropping as summer driving season is slowing down. Patrick DeHaan, head of petroleum analysis at Gas Buddy, says as long as we can avoid a major hurricane threatening refineries in the Gulf region, the declines should continue. Gas prices in Green Bay and the Fox Valley range from $3.31 to $3.34 per gallon.
Today is the partisan primary. When you head to the polls, you'll be narrowing down races for Assembly, State Senate, United States Congressmen, and other local races. There's also referendums. To see what is on your ballot or to find out where you can vote, check out myvote.wi.gov. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation and Governor Tony Evers have announced $174 million in state funding for road projects over the next five years. The funding will be distributed through the Local Roads Improvement Program, a reimbursement program that can cover up to half the cost of improving deteriorating roads. Wisconsin will also receive $200 million from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law to fund more than 150 projects improving the state's roads and bridges. And that's what you need to know. I'm Lisa Hale, WISS News. The crew lose to L.A. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Brewers lost game one of their four-game series to the Dodgers last night. The final 5-2, to two, game two tonight. Manager Pat Murphy said he thought his young Brewers team was a little intimidated facing the Dodgers and future Hall of Famer now in his 17th season, Clayton Kershaw on the mound. Yeah, this is it, man. If, if you want to be, you want to you swim with the Sharks, you got to be willing to step up in these situations and put together, forget about who's on the mound. I mean, and forget about, you know, it's baseball. It's pitch by pitch. And I'm not disappointed in any, I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at anybody or anything like that. I'm just, I just felt like we didn't have the right approach there uh, mentally for situation, but it is through young guys in front of their hometown crowd and, and it's Kershaw. So that means something. NFL, one of the players who stood out in the Packers' win over the Browns was wide receiver Grant DuBose, who had five catches for 66 yards, leading the team in receptions. Grant had a really good game the other day. Obviously, he made some pretty clutch catches, um, but his effort blocking uh, was excellent as well. So I was really pleased with that, with him. He had a really good game. That's Packers offensive coordinator Adam Stenovich. The team heads to Denver for a joint practice session later this week. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. If you're looking for a movie this weekend that is ripe for theater viewing as opposed to streaming and you can't seem to get enough of franchises, check out Alien Romulus. Not even sure I need to explain what it's about, but the story finds colonizers in space who end up in peril when they come face to face with, you guessed it, aliens. Alien Romulus is the umpteenth installment in the series and most likely not the last, and it opens August 16th. Have fun at the movies. Matt Damon says the people and culture of Boston can seem abrasive and harsh. Damon's new comedy is called The Instigators and is set in the actor's native city. His lifelong pal and castmate Casey Affleck also calls Boston his hometown. Damon says he is aware of how people view Boston and can be put off by Bostonians' sarcasm and cynicism. But to him, it feels like a comfortable pair of socks. New tourism slogan, anyone? The Instigators can be streamed on Apple TV. For more showbiz fun, tune into Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Partly cloudy today with an isolated shower or thunderstorm possible later this afternoon. Our high 83 with wind out of the southwest at 5 to 10. Tonight, clear 62. Tomorrow, partly cloudy 84 with showers and thunderstorms likely Thursday and Friday. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Currently, it's 69. That's your WISS Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WISS.FM.